Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to share a small put together talk by Jehovah Witnesses and it will get you thinking if your mind's not programmed to watch Tower's teaching. So here we go. This book is grouped with four other poetic books, and it is among the oldest books in the Bible. It was completed by Moses about 1473 BCE, toward the end of the Israelites' 40-year trek in the wilderness. The man Job lived in Uz. Shem, a forefather of Abraham, was likely an ancestor of Job as well. Even though Job was not an Israelite, he was a worshiper of Jehovah. Okay, we're going to stop there. First of all, he was not a worshiper of Jehovah because the name Jehovah was vented in 1270 A.D. in our century by the Catholics, which you can go on the Catholics' website and they were, were even admitted that they was the ones by Raymond, Raymondus Montina was the one who vented the name Jehovah. Number two, Jehovah Witnesses, there's your books. You got your Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and in the sixth book, was Joshua. But you go all the way down here past Nehemiah, Esther, and you got Job. Moses, Wilnes, 1473. The same garbage, what you see here, the same date, 1473. We have a problem. If this was part of the book of Moses, Job, why is it all the way on the bottom when it should be up there at the top after uh, Deuteronomy? Or maybe it was his first book. No. They put him in the 1473, so that means that would be in his last book before he died. So, if he wrote the book of Job, why did God had it to be his last book, Jehovah Witnesses? How come Joshua didn't put the uh, Moses' name on the last book of Job? If that was the book that Moses wrote. Something to think about, Jehovah Witnesses. I had called Mike and Kim and asked him out of all the Bibles they had, do they have uh, the names of the authors of the books of the Bibles? And Kim sent me some information. Uh, some Bible says no list. I mean, no, they don't have the names of the author of the uh, Genesis to all the way to Revelation. But some of them did say unknown author. That means when she looked it up, they found no information or no proof that Moses... Basically, it doesn't say that, but basically, they don't know who the author was. So that means Moses could not have been the author of the book of Job. So that's a lie that Watchtower's teaching to all Jehovah Witnesses. And when I came across that one time, I had did research because it made no sense to me why Book of Job was all the way on the bottom and the rest of Moses' books was the very first ones. That 
made no sense to me. But you can't question the watchtower. You can't question to the elders. Because if you do, you your mind, you're becoming apostate. Because you're waking up. So I Google the books of Moses. And there are only five books. There's only five books. So I did some more digging. Torn. The law. There's the real names of the first five books Moses wrote. And you see on the right side, those are the names is in English. I don't see the book of Job, Jehovah what it says. There is no book of Job. That Moses wrote. And I had a friend of mine. I had. Her to check in her Bible. And they took her to the page. And it says the author of Job. Was unknown. So my question is. Are we supposed to believe. A little bitty religion. Knows the author. Of Job, when the Hebrews has the proof right, you see right here in front of your eyes. There is no book of Job, so are we supposed to call everybody else a liar? And Jehovah Witnesses is only one can predict who the author of Job was. When there is no proof that Moses did not write that book, he never wrote it in the desert, the wilderness, people, you need to wake up. You need to do real research. That's the reason we do research is to show you what we learn because you are still program and still connect to Watchtower's teaching. So please, you cannot keep living a lie. If Mo Moses wrote the book of Job, why would Watchtower leave Job on near the bottom and they could have took it all the way up to to the last book before Joshua and do and do draw me. So I hope this information will wake people up and realize it's better to put, to put unknown author than just pull something out of a hat to make yourself look good, Watchtower, and it comes back and bites you in the ass. Because I don't show proof different ways that Job cannot and was not written by Moses. So have a fun day and um, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye bye.